I'm back. Stug Hansen. What do you do when you're not climbing, Doug? I deliver the mail. First mailman on Everest? Hope so. <laughs> I like that. I know there's a lot of mountaineering experience in this room. You wouldn't be here without it. But Everest is the most dangerous place on Earth. Balthazar, thanks a million for uh, chatting to us today. My name's Owen. I'm from a website called Joe. Congratulations on the film, first of all. As they ask in the project itself, why Everest? Why did you pick this particular film to make? Well, I think it picked me, you know. I think uh, when a project like that comes along, uh, there was there was a you know nothing in my body that could say no to it. You know, it's like an adventure in itself. It's you know, like somebody wants to climb Everest. You know, it's hard to explain why you make want to make a movie like that, but it's a it's a physical you know reaction almost like you know I have to do this. You know, this is a one time adventure that I'm not going to let go. And you brought plenty of other people along the adventure with you as well. Yeah. It's quite an amazing cast that you've uh, put together, sort of like the Avengers Assemble of <laughs> top quality character <laughs> actors. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you go about putting those people together? Because even the smaller roles are filled by incredible people. Well, I, I, I you know, I think uh, the, the, having you know built that, I started building around uh, Jason, and then finding people that that both had. You know, incredible actors, and I have some name value at the same time. I recognize, so it just you know because it would be more confusing if you would have just only only actors that you know people wouldn't know. So so I think, and that is a balance because a lot of great actors have also become jaded by by being too known, and and therefore you have a problem making them up as believing them as real people. It was very important to me that these people can depict real people. You know. And also that there was, there was, they had masculinity without being macho, you know, because I think that's kind of an element that is very important in a movie like that. Uh, I also, you know, I, I, I was very lucky, you know, people responded very strongly to the material and to the idea of doing this uh, film. So, so you know, having even you know Keira Knightley in a, in a very small, small role, but you know, it. I know it's kind of a cliche to say, but there is no uh, small role, only a small actor. We all heard this line. It is kind of true in a movie like that because it's in every moment. And sometimes it's it's kind of um, confusing. People think you have a big actor, therefore he needs to, you know, go the whole, you know, uh, nine miles out to, you know. But it's not necessary. They can come in and give somebody's life a meaning in few scenes. And I think that's very important, you know. We're out of gas, Doug. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you behind. Come on. I don't want to die, man. Can you hear me? Rob? No. You've got to get moving. No! And it's quite, uh, well, I'm not sure, maybe it's not a difficult job for yourself to manage all those different personalities and those different egos because, as you said, there is a lot of recognisable actors there. Were there any issues like that or because it's not the most comfortable of conditions to fill them in as well or was it an easy situation to manage? No, it's very complicated. And, and uh, most of them were, were, were very... You know, on you know, eager to do this, and you know, wanted to 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 go through the difficulties and the hardship of doing it. But that's wears up pretty quickly. You know, at certain point, you know, they are, you know, the ro romanticism of of making it was gone, and you just you know, you just want to get hell out of there. But that's when it gets real. That's when it gets good. Because I I I don't think happy actors are particularly good actors. I think actually an actor that has to you know, work hard. You know, it usually becomes more real and more interesting. So try and make them as uh, as unhappy as possible. Get the get well, the, get, make, the, get the good roles out the, of them. Get them yeah. raw, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know you can be in a happy marriage and everyone never fights and you're all smiling and good. But you know when the troubles hit, that's when it gets real. That's when people see, see what what they are made of, you know, and and how strong the love is, you know, in a relationship. It's the same, you know. It's a kind of a, you know, you can be all happy and joking, but when it gets real, that's when you see what people are made of if they can carry through that. So is the opening scene of your next film it's going to be something like fade in on a beach in a cocktail bar in the Bahamas? Something <laughs> a, a little bit less strenuous than Everest? Well, I just made a, a, a TV series that I, you know, that I, you know, I did the pilot for and created, and that's uh, half is in a blizzard. So I think I'm, I'm just uh, no, I'm doing probably a Viking movie that's going to happen in the highlands of Iceland, uh, you know. So we'll see. I probably will always, be, you know, make it as hard on me as possible. Speaking of Iceland. Uh, I'm not sure if you're a football fan, are you? I am totally a football fan. And that's amazing uh, achievement <laughs> by the Icelandic uh, football Incredible. team to qualify. For the first time in history. The smallest country ever in Europe to qualify. Um, Ireland are playing tonight, so we're hoping 
that uh, that we're going to have some luck over the next few games. It's not as it's not a done deal yet, but uh, if not, everyone in Ireland is going to be rooting for Iceland. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's what well, I'll I'll, say. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. One final dilemma for you. Uh, we ask all our interviewees this. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? I think it would be really easy to go with 100 duck-sized horses. Well, no one's described it as easy before. No, because they, you just wrangle them, you know, you just, uh, you know, put them in. You know, I, I, I deal with 100 horses of a, of a size of 100 gooses every day, you know, but I'm a horse breeder, you know, and my wife and me have 80 horses uh, up in the countryside. So having a dark size uh, horses, you know, you just wrangle them <laughs> into a fence, you know, it's easy, I'll do that. Easy. Well, thanks a million for chatting us today. Congratulations again on the film. Thank you so much. Thank you. Does anyone to make it? You can. I love you.